Back to the Daily Grind, and thanks for checking out the channel. Before I expose Nate Diaz, Daniel Cormier, and other Aljamain Sterling critics as Blue Pill Beta Males, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and smash subscribe if you're not a baby back bagel biting Blue Pill Beta Male. That was a tongue twister. But, with that being said, guys, we're going to leave politics out of this video. I can go a whole nother direction. I'm just going to get straight to the point to anybody, to Ariel Helwani, to Daniel Cormier, to Nate Diaz. And when Ariel Helwani jumps on board, you should already know it is a beta male bandwagon because Ariel Helwani has never been known for being alpha. So if you're on Ariel Helwani's side of this equation, it should already fucking tell you which way you're hanging on this topic. Now, let me explain why everybody that has came out and criticized Aljamain Sterling is a blue pill beta male who probably was raised by a single mother. Let's be honest. Because every single one of you are bypassing logic when you say that Aljamain Sterling made a decision to fake his injury to become the champion. Let's say you're right. If that's the case, I don't believe that's the case. He got a fucking knee in the dome. His eggs were scrambled. It was a, even if it was a decision he made, it was a decision he made while he was concussed. But let's say you're right. Let's say Al Jermaine was faking to win the belt. And that pisses you off, does it? He should have been a warrior. He should have got up and continued through the illegal strike like a real fighter. Is that is that what you think? Because that means you are an emotional thinker, a.k.a. beta male. If you thought like a man, an, an alpha, a logical human being, then you would have fucking did the exact same thing as Al Jermaine Sterling. Fuck you really talking about? Do you not realize the belt comes with the bag? The pay-per-view points? The generational wealth? The sponsorships? Resources? Even if it was a logical, even if it was something that Al Jermaine Sterling in his concussed mind said, oh shit, if I say I can't continue, I win. That's the fucking ding, 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 right answer. If you're logical. If you're not, oh, me big bad warrior. Fucking emotional. Oh, if I quit, then I'm going to look soft. <laughs> Take that shit to the bank. What? What? And I would, what, what I would do if I was Al Jermaine Sterling and all these fucking blue pill beta males are coming out the fucking woodworks to talk about little old me. If I was Al Jermaine Sterling, I would take the Henry Cejudo approach and I would eat this shit up. I would start posing with the belt. I would start calling out everybody except for Peter Yan. I would say Peter Yan doesn't deserve a rematch. I would call out Daniel Cormier. I would call out Nate Diaz. I would call out Jake fucking Paul. I would call out fucking Henry Cejudo, who's retired. Call out fucking Jose Aldo coming off a loss. Do that shit. Piss him off. Because it's going to sell your next fight. It's going to get you that fucking bag. You can't please these fucking emotional pussies. And I'm trying to watch my language. Anybody that is detracting Al Jermaine Sterling is emotional and not logical. Beta and not alpha. We don't even got to go into the politics of how hard it was for Al Jermaine to get that motherfucking shot. We can just go into the fucking logic. It's that simple. Anybody you see saying Al Jermaine Sterling faked that fight is a fucking beta male. I'm sorry, guys. I get a little amped up. I got to tone that down. But it's the facts. It's the same thing about people who want to fight someone over words. Whenever you intellectually dominate somebody, 
And they say, oh, well, I could beat your ass. Who do you think you are to call a fighter a beta male? I think I'm a fucking entertainer, a common, doing commentary. Or did you, did I elicit some sort of emotion? <laughs> Probably did, knowing the fucking, all the betas that came out in waves to ride out, Jermaine. Fuck out of here, man. You guys get the point. It is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out.